put some pressure on the two solos. Um, that's that's how I look at this anyway. I, I can go with that. I, I'm just trying to look at a way where you're facing up against a one v one, and you're already winning it. You could really abuse it that much easier with a with a fury on having a quick phase where you know the puck isn't going to be able to match your damage because puck doesn't generally go face through tough lane. Oh, they're going. David just stuck around there. Jot of trouble. Wave of terror for Pycat. That's that problem when you TP him in. Well, actually, BZZ. He's man fighting up against EGM. The Asprey is still down. He gets around the corner. Somehow, BZ, BZZ like, threw his own like, like corpse at him and managed to get the kill. But he's got some trouble running away from here. The salve. Oh, Pycat missed the cancel. There is the poison sting sticking, sticking into him. And Prophet, another TP too far away. Again, the Plague Wards come down. And the Sing Sing will at least can't do that either. So Sing's very happy in this lane. The only thing he needs right now is Arcane Boots. He's unstoppable. But normally when Sing does this, he uh, goes in something else. Now Alchemist coming in with a stun. BZZ makes his run in here. And well, they need a body block. And EGM, don't, blow block, don't blow blow body block your teammate. Uh, the Prophet comes in. He'll go for Yol. Not a lot of damage coming out of Pycat just yet. He needs one more hit. The tree to summon. Yol in the tree line. He will go down. Pycat though. TP's in to end up being a one for two trade with two. The core's going to go down. While in middle lane, even the courier is almost about to take a fall. I, I think that that fight would have been much different if you had the level three wards up for. We'll see, Doi. He's going on Koi, but he'll turn to a quick Crypt Swarm. He's still got the double damage rune. So Koi can battle up against Doi with some damage, but not enough. Nice. Right there, would have made. The coming mid, Pycat. Oh god, that's a big TP in from Pycat. And Nick was on the way in too. That's Volva with a black hole. We've Malthus on and Midnight Pulses over on God, allowing the Crypt Swarm to finish the job. Now Jonathan into the sun on Pycat, but your black hole from Volva. He got the one man that potentially could have stopped him, but even though he threw the stun. It gives a double kill out to Koifa. That's level seven now over on him as whoops, there goes Nature's Prophet. C point. Volva came in through the rear and Volva, you're right, he's low on life, 28 life points away. And Live still kills off the Venomancer in the meantime up on the top line, taking damage from the tower. He's peeing the living crap out of him saying Versions, the acid spray as well as Koip for exorcism is almost finished for Roshan. In fact, now Roshan, he is done before the black still can arrive. Apollo starts the Malvas on and a midnight pulse, but a perfect dream call from Cedoy catching out to Jonathan with the sun as well. But they're still battling it out. EGM suns himself, lol. And now he'll also die to two attacks from God as well as from the Sky Wrath Mage. While Cedoy battling up against Koip, who gets a lot of life points back as the exorcism wore off. Ends up being a Rest of TT just continue to farm. Yeah, now with Yol here, they may try and go for that jump on the Koi. Oh, they're Sing Sing. Dream Coil, plant the field. He'll throw the ulti out and he's a lot more healthier. See, is going to be starting to tick pretty fast because the Bulba won't be able to catch up to him in time. And maybe Pycat will, however. God, Malice for Sun. No TP out this one. The Midnight Pulse down too. Jonathan swaps him a little bit further down, away from the wards. While up on top, EGM attempt the TP out. Sing Sing ended up dying in the middle attack. lane and the Death Prophet Fight died up on the top. I actually prefer the Ancient Seal build um, over many, uh, over the Arcane Bolt build for this specific reason. The hard, have, large amount of magic damage they have. Yeah. yeah. There's your seal to make sure he doesn't get into Chemical Rage. He was dead anyway, even if he did pop the Chemical Rage or not. Mortality. And that means top tower going down. Rotation into mid lane. God is going to try and defend this. I wish him the best of luck. Uh, that's a level 2 exorcism with the four points up in Witchcraft already. And Volva, he's got Black Hole available. Midnight Ball to drop. Beautiful Dream Ball and double silence. He's waiting an out bubble. We'll have to take the stun at the end of the day. Sing Sing, too low in life. And now Volva turns into the three man hole. But yo, the one man not caught in it. He fast him up perfectly. And Enigma drops. But there's still a large amount of damage coming out from Koifa's exorcism. Especially with Concoction Sun from EGM. The VS swap away. But he'll end up just bringing himself into a point blank range for Crypt Swamp. Whoop! There she goes. Double kill for Koifa. Steedo is run down. It's a big like phase life steal. And most life stealers like would potentially just go one point up in feast. So this kind of forces like a different kind of build out from B from BZZ and maybe a little bit more pressure onto him as opposed to just sitting back. Now Pycat caught out y'all. Perfect TP in. He's got blade melt. Turns it on and goodbye y'all. The bright side of a blade melt and oh, oh he actually stopped the dream coil. Well done, Cedoy. He's TPing him. They want BZZ. EGM, the Yule set drop, but Jonathan gets the sun up to start with. EGM just triggers off his ultimate, and then BZZ tries to stand his ground. There's your Black Hole from Bulma. They needed to stop him from attacking, and Coin for to have some time to do the work. So BZZ goes down. Jonathan, the urn tar charge is ticking him out. Gives two more charges over to the Alchemist.
match, and they're going to be going for a very aggressive build on the Light Stealer. Go for the race car build, just so you don't have to like, so you can just constantly be on those heroes over and over again. Mm -hmm. I thought that's the way they were going to build this, but BZZ is building to like oh, so jump. Dream call, gotta go over on two. The Midnight Pulse goes down. See though the Pro is going to bounce off pretty heavily with the Venom against gets mobbed up by Mystic Flat. EGM another top will go out, but it's two to zero. Volva quick stuns over while well, he's looking for one. Macedo is feeling pretty well unfazed right now while golfing attacked by a conversion army. Koifa and was silenced on BGC, so there's no infest possibility. No burst damage cap from that one. Cedoy, man, he's ticking down low. These plague was not making life easy. And Ramp and abuse that little fog but coming again. Sing Sing's ready for him. Plague Wall is going to put Cedo's Blink Dagger or keep it on cooldown, but the orb lets him come in. Pie Cat already put the blade on off, and the Gale hits on the pits already on the Lion Seal. Venomant throws the old Yash, hits over on the Razor as well as the BS, but Sing Sing again. Man, that Mystic Flare is not his friend. The Yule Simper sends BDD up into the air, while Roshan, well, he's already being taken. Aegis Simol into the hands of the Death Prophet, and EGM is on the chase. Cedo, he wants to blink away. Concoction, he's able to phase shift it out, but now his phase shift's being used. Crypt Swarm flies out, but Cedo, it bought him time to actually get that Blink Dagger back off cooldown but yo one more crypt swarm with the urn attack it's actually not enough damage down on the ground uh the death prophet exorcism like all of that is huge amounts of damage over time that if you just consistently try and fight up against Shot him. you're gonna lose smoke's gonna break koifa he's able to get the pick up right now but stunned up for a little bit koifa trying to break free the hex use over on god and man that's a lot of damage coming up from the almond they're gonna pick up too got him trying to save his teammates life but the ex is chasing him down past the tower the orbit the orbit pretty quickly, not to mention the acid break, keeping BP out from getting close, and BZZ caught inside the sprout, in fact, race up already, and he wants to run out, but he got Gale again, can't move, Bulba, they're gonna come in, they want him down, the Dream Core will catch a lot of him, and he actually managed to invest into the one range, he was about to pop back out again, but Bulba will take the kill, while Skyrack will die the Death Prophet. Venom is Gale, or he's Black Wolf. Here we go again, man. This is going to be Team T here in Team Korea trying to finish the job. Boy first, Cedoy jumps out, nice foil. And Bulba, well, his BKB, he does no black hole available. The Midnight Pulse doing the serious work. Koifa will go down, which means it only goes with him, but the Aegis Simulator will bring it back up again. The buyback will come, but it's a triple kill for Pycat. Of all people, just bouncing around, doing the damage, and a very, very convincing fight to take game number one here. Virtus Boy versus Team Reno, Team Carino. Not exactly the start to people looking for in the D2CL, but... Well, if you bet your res on Team Arena, Team Arena, you're playing the odd advantage because uh, they are looking still very, very strong. Game number two. We'd expect more of the same, but hey, VP, maybe, maybe they can surprise us. Yeah, different draft. I, didn't, I just didn't like the Lifestealer in general. I, I'm not sure what it gave them. So hopefully a different draft will change things around. Go and draw into uh, game two. Yeah.